Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what does your person secretly want to confess to you. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 8th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 12.42 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. If you were to find it guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with, even if you're dealing, even if you're dealing with the same sign. <laughs> All right, spirits and angels, please show me for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, the person. What do they secretly want to confess to them? Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So you got the Hierophant, the Sun, and the Judgment. So your person secretly may want to confess to you that they now see very clearly um, the lessons from this connection. Or uh, some lessons that you may have taught them. Right? Judgment reverse that they may have made the wrong judgment call. And two of Pentacles that they were... Now they're weighing the pros and cons. Now they're kind of like weighing things as in weighing the, uh, maybe a judgment call that they have made, right? Or you have made. It feels like an understanding energy. Now they understand. They secretly want to confess to you that now I understand why you did what you... Now I understand why you did what you did, okay? Now I understand. That's what I'm seeing. Eight of Pentacles, a star. They secretly want to say to you that they've been working on themselves. They've been going through healing and, and recovery. Um, they've been focusing on your work. They've been trying to be very positive. And they find you to be very attractive, the star here, or that you could be an inspiration to this person, okay? And this person can be anybody. It could be somebody romantically connected to. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be anybody. Whoever is on your mind right now. Or even if this person is not on your mind right now, it could be their energy, okay? Their energy could be di dictating this um, this reading because it's so strong. Um, maybe this person has been thinking a lot about you, so it you know it can connect like that energetically. Okay, so five pentacles, ten of wands. Hmm. This person feels kind of lonely, and ten of wands. They also feel like they deserved it, okay? Now, life is not that easy for them because something with a higher fund here, that means something that they had to learn in a hard way. So they may secretly want to confess to you they learned something in a hard way. Um, and now they're realizing it, right? The sun indicates clarity. Now I'm seeing something very clearly that I still got a lot of work, things to work on. I need to work on myself and the star here that I need to change. I need to renew because the star indicates renewal, hope and faith. They could also secretly may want to confess to you that they hope that both of you can work together in the future. Um, or that you would see, you would see how hard they've been working on themselves. Like how, how much they have changed, right? The star can indicate that as well. The high priestess here is a one first. They secretly want to confess to you that they were wrong and you were right, okay? Something that they were so dead set on that they were right and that they knew everything. It was, now, it, it, now they have two of pentacles. Now they're starting to question, was I really, was I really right? I don't think I am. So there's something about them changing the, the way, the way, things that they thought, you know, maybe they did the right thing, but now judgment reverse. They feel like maybe they didn't, okay? Maybe they didn't. Let's see more. Six of Swords, Three of Swords, Ace of Wands. They secretly want to say to you, 
please bear in mind that it, again it could go vice versa you know the ace of wands and it can indicate a new beginning but also it can mean that this new beginning because one is not a pentacle so it could be short-lived so for something that was short-lived they may secretly want to confess to you that for something that was short-lived it wasn't worth it I, I hope that makes sense to you they may have gone for something that was short-lived um that it, it looked exciting in the beginning but it you know and that was it because the ten of wands right here it isn't as easy as they thought it was gonna be something was short-lived something that looked enticing that could have ended up hurting them three of swords and they had two six of swords walk away from it and this could be karma or this could be their lesson right you may have taught this person a lesson it's like a lesson that they learned on their own but it's related to you it's connected to you i hope that makes sense three of cups here is in one verse we've got the hangman and we've got the hermit in one verse so they could be feeling kind of lost they secretly may want to tell you that they're lost um that things have been stagnant in their life three of cups in one verse that they're actually not really that happy they're not celebrating there are a lot of things that they again could be working on they may not be doing very well financially right now or that they've been working super hard for themselves or maybe they're carrying a lot of responsibilities responsibilities but it could also be them confessing secretly wanting to confess to you that they knew how hard it was for you okay because maybe now they're doing it doing the same thing as what you were doing in the past for them now they see very clearly how you know all the work and all the hard work that you put into either managing or maintaining this connection or maintaining a business if both of you had a business together or family if both of you had a family together there's something that you did that now they secretly want to confess that now they understand it's like putting themselves in your shoes for example it's just like people people who have never had kids you can babysit all day long to one whole week it's not the same as being a parent yourself right being a parent yourself it's like it's 24 hours and you don't just babysit and go like okay at this time i'm just you know I, i'll take a break there's no break for parents um you're constantly worried about your kids uh you have to think about the future you have to save money for the college for whatever okay so it's like a 24 hours lifetime responsibilities so nobody will know how hard it is being a parent until they become a parent themselves so this makes me feel like your person may secretly want to confess to you that now they understand what you've been through because now they're going through it and it's super super hard they may have undermined the effort the work that you put into it okay it could be into again the work that you put into your family or the work you've put into yourself or in the connection or in them it could be any of these things it just feels like now with the three of swords they feel inspired by you ace of wands but through hardship through them again going through maybe similar things that you have been through with them and that's what i'm seeing here they may also secretly want to confess to you that they want to do right by you yeah maybe because they did something wrong here but they're taking their time um the hangman through swords maybe they're still going through healing and recovery maybe they think that you're still upset with them so they're not sure two of pentacles if they should reach out to you mm. they have a newfound respect for you for everything that you have done they secretly may want to confess that to you and they think you are the star like you may have achieved something certain thing that certain things that for a lot of people it's unattainable it's it's hard it's something very challenging most people would have given up but you didn't so they may be also they secretly may want to confess to you that they are proud of you for everything that you have achieved in your life and again this person could be someone a family member could be a friend could be 
someone you could be connected to romantically, okay? All right, Pisces and Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. Um, yeah, and for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Alright, take care. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.